My family and I are converting this early 1900s general store and cafe building into our home. One of the first projects that we've completed since moving in is renovating a large hallway that also serves as one of our main entryways into the building. When we moved in, this hallway had carpet, popcorn ceilings, and bluish purple walls. We came in and tore out all of the carpet in the hallway. After the carpet was removed, I scraped the popcorn ceilings. So this is uh, how we get it down, spraying it with water. And it actually comes off pretty easily. It makes a huge, nasty mess. Since the popcorn ceilings hadn't been painted over, I was able to simply spray them with water and let them soak for about a minute, and then the popcorn texture slid right off. I was rushing a bit to get this done and didn't take the time that I should have to lay down tarps or anything like that. That was a bad idea and is definitely something I would do if I did this again in the future. It would have made cleanup a lot more quick and easy. After scraping the ceilings, we painted the walls and added a sliding door for the hallway bathroom. The door was an old, original door from the building that I found stored up in the attic. I painted it black to match the black sliding hardware. I also added shiplap to a section of the walls outside of the bathroom. I didn't record much of this process, but I can explain a bit about how I made the shiplap. So I bought four by eight sheets of one quarter inch finished plywood and then ripped them down to about seven and three quarter inches wide. After cutting them to size, I attached them to the walls with some finish nails and spaced them apart using a couple of nickels that I just stacked on top of each other. After they were all hung, I used a paint sprayer to paint them all white. The paint sprayer worked pretty good for this job, but unfortunately it stopped working after a couple of uses, so I had to return it to the store. After everything was painted, it was time to do the floors. We had different ideas for how we would finish the floors, but eventually we decided to use 4x8 sheets of half inch finished plywood that I stained and then covered with several coats of polyurethane. I don't hear about a lot of people using full 4x8 sheets of finished plywood for flooring, and so it was a bit unusual, but we really like the way it looks and so far it's been holding up really well. And it also seems to clean really easily. This building has about 10,000 square foot of space, so we are going to have a lot of projects like this one that I will be documenting in the future. We've made a lot of progress, but still have a long ways to go. If you want to follow along with us on this journey and see our progress, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments.